Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Tonight's video presentation is going to be a short one, but one that I thought might be useful to some of you. As you've been watching, over the last few weeks, you've been seeing me do various different steps of a server upgrade that we're doing here at Virtualize Everything. In my time, this has only been a day or so, but in a previous video, you saw us bring over this piehole container. I have noticed in setting up and updating everything that this container actually happens to be an old version of Ubuntu. So I thought it would be nice to show you how to upgrade this container to version 21 from version 20. So the first thing we're going to want to do is check the version. Here I've done this using the lsb underscore release space dash a command. And as you can see, the release here is 20.04. So now we can actually go ahead and run the command do dash release dash upgrade. This will check to see if there's new releases. And it tells us that we need to change a line in this file to normal. So let's go ahead and use nano and paste this file structure in. Now we can come down here and change prompt to normal, save it, and then we can run the command again. And it's going to begin gathering everything we need to upgrade to the newest version of Ubuntu. So this screen is just telling us there's many different updates to be applied, which we already know. And we want to press Y to continue and then press enter. And the installation process begins. And yes, we want to restart services during package upgrades without asking. And we just want to choose the default option here of no. So we just press enter. Again, we're going to want to choose the default here, so just press enter. Again, we're going to choose the default option of no by pressing enter. Now some of these questions that come up are going to be unique for your system. And you may want to look carefully at the question and choose a different option. But usually if there's a configuration file that has been modified, you do not want to change the configuration file as it will make whatever on your container has been set up not work correctly. Yes, we want to remove obsolete packages. So we can press Y and then enter. Yes, we want to remove obsolete packages. So we can press Y and then enter. Yes, I want to continue. I understand that continuing means that the container will restart.
Now you can see here right at the welcome screen that we're actually now running Ubuntu version 21.04. So our container has now successfully been updated from Ubuntu 20.04 to Ubuntu 21.04. I hope you found tonight's video presentation on updating an Ubuntu container to a newer release helpful and informative. If you did, please consider dropping us a comment, liking, sharing, and subscribing to help us bring more content on virtualization, containers, VMs, and other such things to YouTube. Also, consider checking out our web store at store.virtualizeeverything.com. As always, have a good night.